Hello everyone and welcome back to the Retime channel. Today we have something quite interesting for you. After our recent video about blackhead and whitehead skincare routine, you can check it right here. We decided why not to show a whole nighttime skincare routine. But a nighttime skincare routine with a twist. Today we will be doing a one brand beauty routine but with only products from Pure Lido. It's gonna be quite interesting, especially because we have very different skin types, so I'm very excited to see how far we can go with just one brand. But before we get started, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications. Shall we move on? All right, the most exciting part of the video, we have now ready all the products from Pure Lido, including some of the most recent launches. And we'll be now picking the most suitable products that are good for my oily skin and BB's dry skin type. Exactly. And we will be obviously starting with cleansing and we will be using the same products each because this cleansing oil and cleansing foam actually have the ability to be great for both the dry and oily skin. However, when we'll be continuing in our skincare routine, we will have to pick products that are based on our skin type and skin concerns. So let's get started. Okay, moving on to the oily skin. The products that I'll be choosing are the most recent products from Pirito, which are the Derma 3 line toner and serum. As well as another, the most recent product from Pirito is HIVHA Refreshing Solution and my favorite cream of all time, Unscented Recovery Cream from Pirito. And in my case, as a dry skin person, I will go with a very hydrating routine and I'm going to go with a line that is very appreciated by pretty much everybody that likes Purito, which is the Centella Unscented line. I will be using the toner and the serum. And because I want to do a little bit of treatment for my wet head and black heads, I will have to slightly Excuse skew this. me. Sorry, not sorry. I'm also going to be using the AHA BHA Refreshing Solution by Purito and I'm going to continue with this gorgeous sleeping pack that is going to give me all the hydration I need. And as for my final step right after cleansing, you'll see I have some blemishes here. I'll be using the Purito patches for my acne. First, let's start with the cleansing routine. And let's start by getting comfortable. Okay, we are ready to move on to our first step, which is the From Green Cleansing Oil from Pirito. It is a great product to use as your first step cleanser because it works well on dry and oily skin types. It effectively removes any sunscreen residues, any makeup or impurities you might have on your skin. Plus, it is fragrance free. And what I also really like about it is that it has this five nutritional oil that are olive oil, jojoba seed oil, and sunflower seed oil. And those are great to protect the skin barrier and also moisturize. The two other oils are almond and grapeseed. And what they basically do for the skin is cleanse the pore and also soothe irritation. So I will start with two pumps of this cleansing oil. So what we're doing now is allowing the five nutritious oils to really break down any makeup that we may have on our face and any other impurities. And we're having it break down at all and you can see pretty much the makeup melting off of our faces. The texture feels very lightweight. There's no smell at all. So I think the cleansing oil melted the most of my makeup on my face. The next process will be the emulsification process, which is one of the most important steps in any cleansing routine. I look very funny right now, but you can see the milky texture of cleansing oil. This is happens when the oil emulsifies on your skin. Okay, now let's rinse this all with the lukewarm water. Whew, my skin feels so soft. What about you? I feel like the cleansing oil removes most of the makeup mm -hmm. and residue. But we do need to move on to the second step, which is a water-based cleanser. In order to fully cleanse the skin and remove the rest of the cleansing oil that might be sitting on our skin at the moment. Yes, we don't make the rules, sorry, but we have to go to double cleansing. And as she said, it's very important to be able to clean all of the impurities. And we will go in with the Firm Green Deep Cleaning Cleanser from Curito. This one is really great because it really, really Really allows you to cleanse the last of the debris that is on your skin. So I personally really like it because I have quite sensitive skins these days and I really don't like a cleanser that makes my skin feel stripped of its oil after cleansing so I really like something that is quite gentle and because this one has a very optimized pH of 5.5 it's quite close to my natural pH so I don't have all the potential irritation that may come with something that has too much of a different pH from my skin and that is why we're going to go in with this cleanser for the second part of our cleansing process. 
just a little bit goes a long way. Look at all of this bubble. And this cleanser also has centella acetica extract, so it really adds to your hydration process and it really gets your skin ready for the rest of your routine. And because it's one of the most effective cleansers, it is great to use as the second step of your cleansing routine to remove the rest of the cleansing oil that might be sitting on the skin. So now that our skin is fresh and clean, we will go into the toning step. So in my case, I will be using the Centella Unscented Toner and I will be using it for extra hydration. This one is really, really good at keeping the hydration, especially if I seal it afterwards. Put a little bit in the palm of your hand and press it. And you can see how juicy my skin looks right now. So as you can see, my skin feels a little bit more supple and obviously the key ingredient here is Centella Asiatica. It's great at soothing and moisturizing the skin. So now I feel a little bit more comfortable. What about you? As you can see, I do have some active blemishes and I'll be using the Sika 8 patches from Perido. I will just apply this before we move on to the toner step. As you can see, it's very thin and almost invisible on the skin. Okay, so since the next step in my skincare routine is the hyaluronic acid toner, I did have to go and splash some water on my skin because it is very important to apply the toner on your damp skin. So while my skin is still damp from the toner, I'm moving on to the serum step right away. And the serum I'm using is from the same line, Derma 3 Serum with the hyaluronic acid. Okay, my skin already feels very plump and hydrated. Hyaluronic acid in general is a very popular ingredient, but it can be a bit picky depending on how you're gonna apply it. It's very important to apply it on a damp skin and make sure to seal it in with an occlusive cream. Absolutely, and in my case, I will be also using a serum from the same line as my toner, and that will be the Centella Unscented Serum. On top of the Centella Acetic it already has, we also have ceramides and peptides, which are really great at helping you keep the moisture that you already applied to your skin, especially if you seal it in with an occlusive, as Luna said. Also, this will help me make my skin barrier stronger and it will boost my skin cell turnover. And finally, I also simply like the fact that this applies without being sticky. I can already feel my skin refreshed. Okay, I feel like we're on the right track. My skin feels almost ready. As you have noticed, I do have some blemishes on my chin area and I'll be using one of the most recent additions, HABHA Refreshing Solution. It is an exfoliating toner that has 2% of salicylic acid and 7% of glycolic acid. It is great for acne and breakouts. I don't necessarily have active blemishes at the moment, but I do have clogged pores around the center of my face. So I will be using a cotton pad, which is reusable these are also from Purito and I will be just dropping a few little bits and just very gently rubbing around my nose area my forehead and my chin if this is your first time using this sort of product especially chemical exfoliants the first time you might experience a little bit of a tingly sensation that is completely normal however it is always recommended to start with a patch test before you actually apply the product on your face also exfoliating is recommended to do in a limited frequency. For example, two or three times a week is the maximum that you should go for. If you have very sensitive skin, it is recommended to use it as low as once a week and work your way up if you're feeling a little bit more courageous. Also, chemical exfoliants can sensitize your skin a lot, so make sure to apply it during nighttime. But in case if you apply it in the morning, apply and reapply your sunscreen. All right, now let's go for my personal favorite step of all. Yes, it's one of my favorite steps as well because right after this final step, I'm going to bed. I'll be using Centella and Center Recovery Cream from Pirido. It's one of my first products from Pirido. It's a very lightweight moisturizer for oily skin type and especially during summer days. As you can see, it's very lightweight on the skin and absorbs well. This cream is enriched with Centella Asiatica extract ceramides and even squalene. All these ingredients work well with any other products such as chemical exfoliants that I just used, HA and BHA. After I do a very treatment-based sort of routine, especially at night, I really want something that gives me a little bit more texture. So in this case, I will be using the Dermite Sika Barrier Sleeping Pack, which has a little bit of a thicker texture, although it is not too heavy. I like a little bit more power in order to maintain the moisture in my skin as I sleep. So I tend to feel a little bit of 
tightness with my skin, which is why I switched to this particular cream. It applies really lightweight, even though it's a little bit thicker than the Central Recovery Cream. So as you can see, I have this nice dewiness to my skin and it's going to stay all night. It's going to do the work for me and it's also going to help me seal in all the hydrating ingredients that I have applied to my skin prior. And here we are, all ready for a good night's sleep. But before we move on, we will just zoom in a little bit so you could see how hydrated our skin looks. Oh yeah, look at all that plumpness. And there you have it, we managed to show you not one, but two skincare routines with only one brand. And it was very hard for us, right? I loved doing it and I will be doing it again if it means I'm going to get to look like this. And all the products will be in the description box below, so if you want to check it out, you can do so. And we really hope you liked this video and that it helped you get some tips and tricks for your own beauty routine. And if you did like this video, please give us a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to the Rutan channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time we post which is once a week and we will see you later bye